we're gonna deal with it. Are you ready, Mr. Legend? Sure. You're gonna feel a little cold spray, then you're gonna feel a stick sting and a burn. Did you wanna say a gummy chain? I'm no, sorry. it's okay. You got it. Little sting, did you feel it? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. That should actually work almost immediately. If not, you'll feel some excruciating pain in a moment. Okay, I've got a smile out of him anyway. That's good. <laughs> Punch biopsy. And scissors. And forceps. But I can use that little needle driver. There's our scissors. Okay, don't move, whatever you do. Yeah, I can use the driver too. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure that we can cover here. We do, we're covering just fine. You feeling anything? You should just feel a little pressure. That's all you should feel from this. Good. Thank you, ma'am. And now I will grab onto it. Right there. Well, I'm not locking. No. Didn't want to lock. That's okay. And we just get underneath it and snip it out. You feeling anything? No. Good. Good. <laughs> that little one in here watching. Hopefully not watching too closely. I can't see. No. Good. Okay. Can here we go. Oh, we'll put here. it in there. We'll put it right in there. Here we go. Send that out. Well, you got a hole in your leg now. What used to be a bump is now a, a hole. Alright, we'll suture please, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna be able to drive home. <laughs> Depends. Could you drive before you got here? I'm not gonna fall victim for that old trip. <laughs> Are you able to fold clothes yeah. and wash dishes? Right. Your legs done? Yeah. Just that spot. You can still feel your toes, can't you? Yeah. I think okay. you're I think you're being told the answer to your question. <laughs> Which is yes, you so can drive. Dramatic. Thank you, Ben, a little dramatic. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, you have it. Absolutely. This is a big punch biopsy, so I'm actually doing a vertical mattress suture on this. Yeah, I saw you doing something different. A little different. bit different, yeah. Just because it needs to be reinforced just a bit more. Mm. Mm -hmm. Vertical mattress? This is a vertical mattress. And they're hard sometimes to make them stick. But we'll get it. That was actually pretty mm -hmm. good right there. Mm -hmm. I think that's bigger than, than when my ears were. <laughs> when I got my ears punched. Yes. They call those gauges, is that right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. okay. is, is that because they are different sizes and therefore different gauges? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 119 millimeters. Number G. There we go. Just Can one? Back off to you. Should be all he needs, one stitch. There you go. Uh, Gummy Jean's gonna put a little uh, dressing on that for you, and we'll see you back in a week. Just keep it clean and dry. Don't do anything else to it, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll take the stitch out, and as soon as we get the pathology report back, we'll call you. Um, if we don't, if you don't hear from us before a week, then when you get back, we'll let you know what we have then, all right? Same headache. You haven't got your braids yet, have you? No. no. I'm like anxious. Me too. I think you probably did okay. I had to show Mr. 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 Boom Boom how, how much weight I've lost. He didn't believe me. Oh, yeah. Well, you have lost some weight, haven't you? Yes, you have. Okay. All right, so we're going to inject that. We're going to let that medicine kind of soak in a little bit here okay. for a moment. And then we're going to take this little cyst out. So let's pull a time out. All right, we're rolling again. Okay, so I'm going to show my friend Boom Boom here. I think I showed you that, didn't I? Yes. That mm -hmm. is what the punch biopsy tool, this is a 5 millimeter punch Can't biopsy tool. Can't see that? How about that? There. That's what it looks like right there. So we're just going to take it and we're going to go right over the top 
of this little cyst, just like we would if we were doing a punch biopsy of a suspicious skin lesion of some kind. And I don't feel it. And you shouldn't feel it, right? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let's pull that back out and we're going to grab on here with our forceps. And we're yeah, going to gently out. lift up and we're going to snip that right out. And you can see we've got cyst in there, don't we, guys? That's mm. awesome. You see that? I've never seen you use that one before. Is it a lot? Uh, oh, no, it's, it's, it's looking small. real good, my friend. Yes, it's small, but that's okay. But see it's that right cottage there? It's cottage. Cheese. See that cyst cheese. right there? I'm going to keep tugging on it. It may just come on out for us. Mm -hmm. You feel pain? Yeah, I feel a little pressure, pressure. down there. You feel a little tugging? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's all you should feel. Mm -hmm. Did you, you feel that? pain? Just, no. You feel a little pressure. feels strange, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Did I get you that time? No, you're all right. Are you messing with me? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Well, that's okay if you want to mess with me a little bit. I just, long, want, I just want to see if it's still there. As long as I'm not really hurting you, I don't mess <laughs> with me. Mm. <laughs> you feel a little tug? Yeah, I do. A lot coming out. Don't go anywhere, Boom Boom. Okay. All right. Don't do I may need a real 4x4. Four four. Why'd you get that one? Oh, I just grabbed what was there. You were, you were busy in the hall. Mm. Well, you make me work. You know better than Well, I try not to make you work. I, I know better. We're going to take that out. This is just sack material coming out right here. It looks smaller than what it was. This is very small. This is going to go down in history as the smallest epidermoid cyst I have ever removed. Hmm. What are you laughing at? Nothing. You didn't see what I did. What did you do? Nothing. You're not going to tell me? No. In a few minutes, your kidney will come out. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> That's definitely all of it. Now get a good look in there. Now we're nice and clean and shiny like we're supposed to. I can see a hole. All right, there we go. Uh -huh. Let's put our stitch in for my man here, Mr. Boom Boom. You just had a long day today, haven't you? Yeah, I have. He was in earlier for some routine stuff and said, hey, Doc, can you take care of this? And I said, sure, but we're going to have to have you come back a little bit. And we'll do it then. First class treatment down here. Well, we try. Did you feel a stick there or something? No, I just, no, I'm fine. You sure? Everything's good. No, no pain. No pain. But it did gain. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to remove this needle because it's not cut. Thank you, ma'am. Gonzo cuts. Yep. I'm ready. Give her a snip. Hey folks, you spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it could actually help you lose weight. Now, I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I just reordered a 90-day supply. I have more energy, I'm in a better mood. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it. And um, take it, it's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.